Today, I'd like to talk to you about Boom 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 by Ian Kirkpatrick. And in the vein of full disclosure, I do need to tell you that I am friendly with this author. And while I'd like to think that I can review someone's work without allowing my feelings about that person to influence the review, I don't think it's fair to be friends with somebody and be reviewing their book and not tell the people who are watching the review. So there you go. Boom 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 follows Jan, an underachiever from rural Ukraine with a penchant for blowing things up. He makes these homemade concocted chemical bombs and then sets them off in a field out in the middle of nowhere while he records them and posts them to YouTube. After a particularly volatile video, two American fans show up on his door. These men are dressed in Hawaiian shirts even though it's the middle of March in Ukraine. And uh, they wear sunglasses, which they don't take off inside. The reader knows right away that these two men are really bad spies, but Jan is not savvy in the way of subterfuge. He doesn't have a lot of exposure to American culture, and whatever indication these two men give that something's not quite right, Jan just assumes it's a weird American thing and writes it off as his own cultural ignorance. Before we get going too much further, I do have to do the YouTube thing and say if you would please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Those two things really help me out, so if you've already done it, thank you so much for taking the time. Okay, back to the review. So these two new fans offer to sponsor Jan, and they give him a box of industrial-grade chemicals or military-grade chemicals to use in his explosions with the idea that they really enjoy his videos and they just want them to be better. So uh, Jan happily takes these chemicals and that night he sets off an explosion so big it draws the attention of the Russian government, which is right over the border. The next morning when Jan goes to work, there are Russian soldiers crawling all over this small town that he lives in. and. Jan thinks that that's really strange, but he's not going to be put off by a few guys in uniforms with guns, so he finds a different place that is not his original bomb site and makes another, even bigger explosion the following night. This second explosion nearly kills Jan, and the next morning his American fans or sponsors show back up, and they offer to whisk him away to America to make him a movie star, which Jan happily accepts. It's what he's dreamed of all these years that he's been making videos with only 20 subscribers. Over the next few weeks, Jan slowly comes to realize that the studio that they've set up for him feels surprisingly like a government building, and his agent and bodyguards, who are supposed to be keeping him safe, start to feel more and more like they're keeping him prisoner. Unfortunately for them, they have a world-class bomb expert on their hands, and they've locked him in a hotel room with access to electricity and chemicals. So Jan blows himself free out into the great wide world of Washington, D.C., and chaos ensues. He's running from the feds, he's making new friends, he's finding old friends, he's making new enemies, um, and it's just sort of this <laughs> riotous uh, run-along as they're, you know, trying to escape from the feds and get Jan back home. And you've got to bear in mind, this book was written before the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In fact, I think it was released around the same time that the news broke that Russia, Russian forces were marching across the Ukrainian border, so although it sort of mirrors some real-life events using civilian actions as an excuse for military action, that sort of thing. Um, they're, they're not meant to be parallel. It's just a coincidence that these two things, this, this book and this actual real-life military action, um, came out at the same time or happened at the same time. There are a couple technical aspects of this book I'd like to talk about, and one of them is the prose. I found the prose to be very smooth and almost conversational. It's very modern language, so it's really easy to read, which makes it really accessible to a broad audience. Um, it was one of those situations where the words that the author chose were not getting in the way of the story that they were trying to tell. So while the book doesn't focus on beautiful turns of phrase, I do find the language really easy to consume and digest, so I thought I'd mention it. Another thing I wanted to mention was the characters. If Jan's naivety had not been handled well, he could have been really annoying. But he wasn't. 
He was infinitely likable. He just came off as kind of a doof and a really self-conscious doof and self-aware doof. Like he knew he wasn't understanding something, but he assumed it was his own ignorance. And because it's told from Jan's perspective, we get to see all of his sort of interior chastising about, oh, you're just being backwards. You're just being ignorant. Open your eyes. You know, there's more to the world than just Nita, this town that you're from. Um, and, and while we knew the whole time what was going on, even though it wasn't stated outright, the author made sure that we understood what was happening, um, Jan didn't, and you believed that he really genuinely didn't know, or that he did kind of in the back of his mind and was trying to convince himself otherwise, and it was all very convincing, and I think that it was well done. Overall, I found Boom 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 fun to read. It's a little ridiculous, but it's kind of supposed to be. And while it does expect you to suspend your disbelief a little bit, all of the things that happen are plausible enough or pulled out of other media that if you're able to let go just a tiny bit, it's really enjoyable. So I really enjoyed it. I think it's well worth the read and I hope that you like it too. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And of course, if you like the way that I present information, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. You can find all of my social media contacts in the description. And of course, if you want to keep up with me and the progress I'm making on my current novel, you can do that at effiewritesbooks.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have an excellent day, and I'll see you next time.